Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty. So this is number three of my new series, Dating Reviews. Um, this is gonna be a doozy. I have to say, this was one of the most interesting and rude men I've ever met. I have maybe not been um, on the dating scene for a really long time, but I've never really had a bad experience. I've always had a decent experience and maybe we just didn't work out. But this guy was something else. So let me take a little. <clears throat> I feel like being the Kermit. Meme. <clears throat> okay. This guy was very attractive in text messages. Very bold. Has his uh, you know what together. Um, great job. Um, has opinions, which I really like. If you watched my last video on this, you would know that that's kind of a big deal for me. That was very attractive to me. He had an opinion about everything. But in our text messages and phone calls, I realized that he had such an opinion that I didn't get one. And I was like, ooh, I'm having a really bad feeling about this. Um, maybe I shouldn't go on this date. But I'm really working on saying how I feel, having an opinion, and actually being honest about that opinion. So I decided to go on the date anyway and just practice being myself. I knew going in that he was going to be really hard to talk to because he had been already very difficult to talk to. Everything I said, he counteracted with something else. Almost like he was trying to be difficult. Um, and the only other person I've come across like this is someone in my family. Um, and it would just it really took me like by surprise. Um, and I was like, but this is my moment. I almost said, this is my moment to shine. <laughs> um, but this is my moment to actually be the person that I've always wanted to be with that family member and say what I really wanted to say out loud. Um, he just like shoots me down on everything. Um, at one point he even said that I didn't get an opinion on the, the conversation because I had never had that experience and so I didn't get to say anything, which had to take a deep breath on that one. Um, but just very condescending, um, didn't ask me anything about my life. Our first date was three hours long and he asked me two questions, two questions about me. Um, there is also something he said that was a huge red flag, um, despite the fact that he was really rude, was he said, I roll with a wall up. Well, you know, to have a deep, meaningful relationship, you kind of have to let that wall down a little bit. And especially with women, I think for the most part, I know there are exceptions, we really, really, really want to connect with people on that level. And that's why I have the friendships I have. Um, it's because that those people want to dig deep with me. Um, it's also part of my personality type, but that is something I really need from someone. And he flat out said that no one is going to get to know those deepest, darkest secrets. No one's going to get to know his feelings. And I thought that was really interesting um, to kind of come out and say that. Um, I mean, he was also not even looking for a relationship. He said that you know, um, nothing lasts forever, which I guess is true. You know, technically that is true. Nothing lasts forever. Um, he just seemed very angry, very condescending. Um, definitely rolled with that wall up. I mean, as soon as he sat down, I was like, whoa, dude, like, whoa. So I really practiced being myself. I really practiced saying what I wanted to say out loud. And I would say that without getting too detailed, with the rudeness and the examples of how mean he really was, the two things that I really took from it was the vulnerability, right? I need someone who's gonna be vulnerable with me, who's going to let their wall down eventually, and um, to be able to talk about their deep feelings and um, the things they're going through, because everyone has been through something really hard, and um, I just felt like he wasn't really into doing that. Um, and then secondly, um, just someone that treated me like 
I have opinions, that I matter, um, that I have experiences. Um, everything he said just was kind of like, I've never had an experience, yet he had never asked. And I did call him out on that. I said, well, you know, how are you supposed to know if that's true if you've never even asked me about my life? He just assumed that I've never had an experience because he's had so many. And I found that to be very interesting. So um, when I left, I felt really proud that I had said things that I really wanted to say out loud, not just in my head. Um, and I felt very empowered the next day. Surprisingly, he texted me, which I didn't really understand. Um, the one thing he did say that kind of made me laugh was, um, what was it that he said? That uh, feisty girls or women do not tend to uh, stay long with him. Um, he said that people that kind of go with the flow do better with his personality. And the one thing I did not say was because um, feisty girls don't put up with your bullshit. <laughs> so um, I'm that feisty girl and I'm not going to put up with that. So I got some good practice in. Um, I hope I never have a day like that again. <laughs> and that was date number three, guys. So stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.